Welcome! In today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to improve your American English and also I want to share with you some parts of my personal journey, how I am mastering my American accent because it's still in the process. So today we are talking about shadowing technique. So basically we are imitating people but having a lot of fun. I find the strategy incredibly useful. It helped me so so much during my learning process. So I hope it's gonna help you too guys. In this video, firstly, I'm going to show you how it works with a lot of examples so you can observe it well, and then you will find out what to do before practicing. Secondly, I'll tell you why shadowing technique is so beneficial for you. And thirdly, I'm going to share some tips and show you why making mistakes can be actually really profitable for your learning process. Let's get started, guys. I'm so excited to show you how it works. I'm so excited about this technique. So firstly, what we want to do, we want to choose a favorite character um, or movie or series in general. So think about something that you like. At the beginning, we are going to put our focus on phrases, just phrases, not the whole sentences, okay? Let's start step by step and what you need to do is just you need to repeat like this it's no big deal it's no big deal it's no big deal one more time it's no big deal it's no big deal what is really important at the beginning at least that we can see subtitles that we can see script what these people actually are saying let's go with the second phrase no thanks i'm gonna head home i'm gonna head home head home no thanks i'm gonna head home head home head home so as you can see, I'm just repeating the short part at the beginning. Now let's play it again. No thanks, I'm gonna head home. 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 And you repeat it basically until you feel that it's similar. No thanks, I'm gonna head home. Okay, I think that we can move on. Slowly, slowly, we are starting with long sentences. So... Anyway, you wanna make out? Anyway, you wanna make out? Anyway, you wanna make out? One more time. Anyway, you want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? Pay attention that here we have stop T. Out. I don't say out. I mean, she, she doesn't say out. It's just make out. Anyway, you want to make out? And by the way, make out, it means to kiss someone passionately, all right? So let's see what's happening next. Anyway, you want to make out? <laughs> I thought because our relationship's in a beta test, you wanted to take things slow. I thought because our relationship's in a beta test. I thought because our relationship's in a beta test. I thought because our relationship's in a beta test. I thought because our relationship's in a beta test, you wanted to take things slow. You wanted to take things slow. And as you can see, this character stops here. Like, you wanted to take things slow. It's so important here because we can see language in real life. Like, it means that he maybe has some doubts, right? Okay, do you wanna make out slow? Do you wanna make out slow? Of course, you can also mimic emotions of the character because it's like really specific situation. Uh, but of course, if you feel like it, if you don't feel like it, no worries. So as you've seen, I was pausing the video to make it easier for me at the beginning. I would like you to pay attention to the facial movements of the characters because the sounds in American English are completely different than sounds in our mother tongues, right? So let's pay our attention to the last sentence that this girl has said. Okay, do you want to make out slow? We can see here on the screen that she drops her jaw slow. Slow. I know that they speak so fast and it's difficult to observe. However, in some words we can try. Now let's make it faster. Okay, well, I'm sorry to bother you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is easy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're right. This is easy. Yeah, you're right. This is easy. Yeah, you're right. This is easy. Okay. What was wrong with that call? Okay. What was wrong with that call? That call. Okay. What was wrong with that call? Well, all right. Um, no offense, but you were kind of rude. <laughs> They're always going to tell you they don't need toner, but that's okay. Oh, well, all right. Oh, well, all right. Again, stop T, I don't say all right. All right. And here, I'm not sure if she said kind of or kinda. So let's go back. Well, all right. Um, no offense, but you were kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> They're always going to tell you they don't need toner, but that's okay. Kind of, okay. Oh, no offense, but you were kind of rude. Mm, no offense, but you are kind of rude. 
And for example, here I need to listen one more time because I didn't get that. So let's go one more time. They're always going to tell you they don't need toner, but that's okay. They're always going to tell you that they don't need toner, but that's okay. One more time. I need one more time. They're always going to tell you that they don't need toner, but that's okay. That's okay. So I can see that intonation is like, that's okay. Okay, so it was just an example of really popular TV show. But right now I would like you to think about something that you enjoy passion, hobby, or something that you watch for fun to entertain yourself. For example, I'm really into self-development, personal growth, but after this video you can use an example from your life, I mean about your interests. So let me show you. Fear is not the opposite of love, it's the separation from it. So fear is not the opposite of love, opposite. So fear is not the opposite of love, it's a separation from it. It's a separation from it. Anger is not the opposite of love. It's the separation from love. Anger. Anger is not the opposite of love. So what I noticed here, the vowel sounds. Anger, anger, and love. It's not love. I was thinking all my life that it's love, but it's actually love, love. The next example. Let's listen. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. The ultimate failure. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Failure. I need to work on that word. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. While listening to the next example, we are going to pay attention to the intonation shift. So if the voice goes up or down. This would be raising my voice to you, okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? This would be raising my voice to you, okay? Okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? By the way, your airline, you suck at checking bags. Bags. So, what's my conclusion? When we have a question, we raise the intonation, okay? And on the other hand, when we have an affirmative sentence, we put our voice down, bags. That was about an intonation. Now let's pay attention to the speed of the speech. Native speakers, of course, speak so fast and it's completely normal to be lost at the beginning. When I started practicing a uh, shadowing technique, I was like, how am I supposed to repeat that actually? It's like so fast. So what you can do, you can just slow it down. On popular services, this option is usually available. So we can just slow down the pace. This would be raising my voice to you, okay? I don't want to check my bag. Okay. This would be raising my voice to you, okay? And once you get that, you can just make it faster. This would be raising my voice to you, okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? Before you start practicing shadowing technique, I really recommend you to think where you want to put your focus on. Do you want to put your focus on the speed of your speech, like you want to speak faster, or you want to put your focus on vowel minimal pairs. For example, the difference between sheep and ship, or leave and live. Ask yourself a question, do I need to work on my intonation? But if you don't know what exactly you need, what you need to improve, you are kind of lost. No worries, it's completely normal, I was there. Just start as I show you, okay, with small phrases, then put subtitles, then longer sentences, then make it slow, then make it faster, and it's gonna be a natural process for you. Just step by step. Every day, 1% improvement. Every day, 1% improvement. Every day, 1% improvement. And with this affirmation, it's gonna be easier. It's gonna be just easier. Why shadowing technique is beneficial for you? First of all, you develop your language intuition. This exercise helps us to understand English on a deeper level. We dive deep, neither logical nor intellectual. I can feel it in my body, yes, I can feel it in my expression, in my intonation. I can listen to the rhythm, to the melody of this language, to the sounds, and I can see the gestures of the characters. And what's more important, we not only learn phrases and grammar, but we learn how to automatically connect phrases with the situation. So sometimes I don't even think what I need to use in that situation. I just know it automatically because I developed my language intuition. It happened to me with Spanish. I moved to Spain more than one year ago and now I'm, I think, kind of fluent in Spanish. But at the beginning I was like super lost, but how I, how I did it in reality that I became fluent. 
I was just mimicking native speakers. I was mimicking my boyfriend, his family, people on the street, new friends, and so on and so on. So language is not just about words or just about grammar. It's mainly about attitude, intonation, culture, specific types of behaviors, sounds. Second of all, this strategy is really convenient and comfortable. You don't need to be stick at your desk. You can be in the middle of other actions like doing the dishes, dusting, ironing, or whatever comes to your mind. You can connect it with your everyday actions. Now, I need you, you, <laughs> to listen to me carefully. Don't be afraid of making mistakes, please. Making mistakes is completely okay. That's how we learn and it's a natural process. Let's have this mindset that practice makes perfect. 1% of improvement every day and don't give up. Let me share with you the final tip. You can record yourself and compare. I mean, I know that comparison is not really healthy for our mental state. However, it's not like comparison, oh, I'm better or you are better. No, it's just, the sound, okay? Let's compare the sound. You can do this like this. Okay, do you wanna make out slow? Okay, do you wanna make out slow? So let's see if I did it well. Okay, do you wanna make out slow? Okay, do you wanna make out slow? By doing that, you can observe it privately. You can just make your own conclusions about your own accent and this action is gonna make you aware what you need to improve. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helped you on your English journey, hit the like and subscribe button down below and visit my social media, Wanna Speak by Veronique on Instagram and TikTok where I share short videos daily. Would you like to take your English to the next level by having one-to-one -one meetings with me? I've created something especially for you. My eight weeks program is going to change your life. You are going to sound natural, learn English in funny, creative way using examples taken from real life. What's more, you are going to forget about memorizing boring grammar rules. So, if you wish to start exploring the world with the practical knowledge of English, the link is in the description down below. Lots of love and hope to see you soon!